Yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, it's such a great week of college football that I will be missing because the eighth grade state title. Uh, the dogs here. Uh, so I'm going to make some game picks. I'll, I'll pick six games and analyze them. Uh, first up is Georgia. Georgia, Tennessee. You know, a lot of people are picking Tennessee to win this game, which I feel a little bit silly. People doing that, but I learned our lesson. I'm in dog out gear today. But, um, yeah. Georgia, the, the thing, the uh, main thing I think is going to be the struggle for Georgia, I do think Tennessee's going to stack the box early, especially if Stetson Bennett in the game. And that brings up questions. Will we get into that struggle and see JT Daniels? And, yeah, I, I, honestly, I think that's going to happen because – Georgia, if you can't run the ball in a stacked box against Missouri, you're not going to be able to do it against Tennessee. And Tennessee's not much better, but it, he just – the the wide receiver runs, that's just not going to work. We need to get JT Daniels in this game, in my opinion. That We need him because if we put him in the game, Tennessee, oh, like Missouri did last week, will stop stacking the box against us, and that's going to open up the run game. Uh, so we saw the same thing last year. Mississippi State, JZS was unproven. Uh, well, he he played USC, but he wasn't nothing special. Uh, but Jake, but they stacked the box against us. JT Dales threw for over 400 yards. Dogs offense rolled. Then the next week, uh, Missouri South, well, mainly South Carolina, got dominated the run game because they were so concerned about JT Dales throwing it over them. So, and then the same thing. You know, same thing happened. Huh. I mean, they were they were so concerned. So I think the same thing's gonna happen. Actually, uh, Georgia will get some early game struggles, I think, but I do think they'll pull away. Dogs will roll. Or, yeah, we talk about Tennessee offense now. Tennessee's main thing, especially for oh, a three week stretch for the Alabama game, was running the ball. Now they can't. They they didn't run the ball in Alabama, which shows up some. Signs I already know. They're not running the ball in Georgia. Throwing it, though, they do have some shifty receivers. Um, they uh, they do drop passes sometimes, but besides that, they're pretty good. Um, uh, especially deep. Uh, I do think Georgia's DBs will probably mess up a couple of adjustments because of Texas' fast-paced offense firepower. And maybe a couple of long runs. I think the big plays would be there for Tennessee. A little bit, a slither. Early game, mostly. But then when the dogs figure it out and all that, especially the second half, it's just going to be a defensive slugfest for Georgia. The, throwing the ball, Tennessee's going to have trouble blocking those four linemen in the pass rush. And if Georgia sends a blitz, it's over. That's just how Tennessee's offensive line works. Um... Not a bad offensive line, but once again, not can hold Georgia. No one can hold Georgia. Uh, Georgia, that's the one thing Georgia never used to really worry about with throwing the ball. They don't have to worry about four defenders or a blitz coming to that Stetson Bennett. Stetson Bennett has all day. He just makes the mistakes himself. I always see JT Dales in this game, but my prediction for this game is dogs will roll 45-14 at, uh, at Dealer Stadium. Next, we're going to pick, uh, am I watching right now? Because I don't want to get in, in, into the game too much. And I'm going to call Bay right now. I don't want to be watching that game too much before I make my pick. That's, just, that's, that's basically cheating. So, that's cheating. So, we're going to make the pick now and try to. Oklahoma, I don't think this is the game they're going to lose. Uh, Taylor Williams against Baylor. I think he's going to do pretty well there. Main concern for Oklahoma is... Uh, their defense against Baylor's offense that that pops up a couple of concerns. Baylor's defense is pretty good. Uh, Got to keep that in mind as well. But uh, I think turnovers, which Baylor causes some turnovers, that's how Baylor's going to need to win this game. Um, that because that's what they're good at. Uh, stopping the run game, I think might. Uh, Oklahoma doesn't run well. They run it, but. Their main main threat for Oklahoma is thrown over top. I think that's going to get Baylor a little bit. Um, running the ball, I think it's going to 
I think that's Baylor's weakness, in my opinion. Um, pass rush. The pass rush is going to get there this game uh, for Baylor. Oklahoma's defense, though, you look at it from this standpoint, Baylor's just going to score a lot of points, especially throwing the ball. Uh, that's where teams get Oklahoma. Yeah. So, talk, so considering all of that, uh, if Caleb just – he just the, the pass Baylor's pass rush and turnovers are the two things Baylor needs to win this game, and what they need is they need to throw it over top on Oklahoma because that's Oklahoma's weakness. What Oklahoma needs is they need to throw it over top themselves, and they need to make sure to get a little bit of pressure on Baylor's quarterbacks, which they can. Even on Oklahoma's worst defenses, they've always been able to get just a little bit of pressure, not like elite pressure, but just good pressure, you know. Run defense and passing has been the main problem for Oklahoma. Of course, the pass defense. But tackling it for Oklahoma is just not there. Uh, yeah, that caused some issues. Wow, we're actually we're very deep into the game. So I need to make this kick now. A lot more deep than I want it to be when I'm making this pick. But uh, good thing, still 0-0. I think Oklahoma's going to win. To give you a little bit of a hint, I got Oklahoma losing. Um at Iowa State next week. God. Is it at Iowa State? I don't know, but those are in the Iowa State next week. Not this game, though. This game they're going to win. And Belgium and the Big 12. Yeah, I said and the Big 12. <laughs> next game, we're going to pick Michigan and Penn State because that game is on right now. I don't want to get deep into that. Uh, Penn State's run defense is astonishing. It's really good. Uh, it was great against Auburn as well. And, oh, huge hit there. But, um... Good thing I made that pick now. <laughs> but Oklahoma's probably about the punter, third and eight. I just, I don't, I don't know. Stoops. Wide receiver, yeah. But, yeah. It, uh, Michigan's strength against Penn State strength, run defense against run offense. Well, Michigan's got run offense, of course. They're going to be able to run it a little bit this game. The uh, Penn State, I think, can win this game alone. Can they win it alone on defense? Because I just don't think the offense is there. Michigan's got a pretty decent defense, and it's just not pretty good defense. Oh, my God, he's about to get sacked for safety. And that's what's going to kill Oklahoma. What did I say? The interceptions, the turnovers, everything like that. That is going to kill Oklahoma. Absolutely should shoot them in the foot. In the foot. I told you. And that guy was committed to Georgia as well and decided to decommit Hazelwood. Or, no, he, he was never committed, but he was always. William, Caleb Williams got hit. Why do you throw the ball 30 yards at your own five-yard line? Run the ball. Punt the ball. Run it and punt it. Don't, don't do that. All three of those plays should have been run plays. Just bad play call. But, all right. Penn State, Michigan. We're talking about that game. Uh, Michigan, uh, we, we saw their run defense. Uh, Penn State, what did they have on offense? Really nothing. Uh, they just three yards in the clout of dust. That's their offense, basically. Uh, they can throw it up top a little bit. Jump balls is what Penn State, that's how they move the ball, really. Running the ball is not there for them. They're not running the ball at all this uh, well, they, they're going to run a little bit because I say they're not going to run the ball at all. I mean, they're going to, I think they're still going to run the ball because Michigan's run defense is not really that good. Even in, and I'm not even talking about the Kenneth Walker game. That's just Kenneth Walker. But it, even in games against red, bad rush offenses, this team still find a way to run on Michigan. I think that's going to be the case here. A couple of jump balls. Uh, Michigan, where they get dangerous is. Uh, their pass defense. Pass defense is pretty good. Uh, pass rush and front seven. Oh, it's just not there. Uh, I I don't think uh, they'll get a little bit of pass rush, but uh, especially against Penn State, Shaw Clifford can't move. Well, he can. Oh, Shaw Clifford can move. What What am I doing? But um, I I just. Penn State just doesn't have enough on offense besides running it a little bit. Uh, their defense, though, especially their uh, front seven, but 
Michigan's good at running the ball. Throwing at Michigan we probably won't do a lot of this game. I do think Penn State will get an interception or two. That will probably be their points. But overall, I got Michigan this game 27 to 17. Nate is probably happy. He's not watching my – is he watching this video? He's, I, he's never commented before. So I wouldn't think he is. Uh, Michigan State, Maryland, that's another big game. Maybe I could pick that. But. <sighs> All right. Texas A&M Ole Miss. Ooh. That's a six game. Well, we just picked two big ten games in a row. Did we? We picked Michigan. Why not save the best for last? We'll go. Uh, we're gonna pick Ohio State for due next. Just fitting after Michigan, right? Yeah. Uh, big stop there, Oklahoma. But I do think uh, we'll, we'll we'll pick Ohio State for due. This is the game where Ohio State's going to bounce back, in my opinion. Uh, I think they're going to throw it all over Purdue, uh, which will leave holes for them to run it on Purdue. Um, Purdue, will they muster up points? Yes, especially running the ball. Um, their main thing is passing it, but Ohio State's run defense is just garbage. Uh, I, I just... There's not much analysts really coming into this game for me. I just think this is the game Ohio State bounces back. I know Purdue's been playing well, especially beating a number two Iowa and then number three Penn State, but it's just, I don't think they have enough. Ohio State's going to win in a shootout this game. 49 to, uh, well, 49 to 30. 49. We'll go 40. 45-31 uh, Ohio State win. All right, moving on to uh, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to go 52 instead. We'll go 52 to 30. I can't think of a score. 52-38 uh, Ohio State. All right, next. We're going to uh, pick. Go. Texas a and Ole Miss. Actually, we need that game last. We need to finish off with a bang. Mississippi State-Auburn. Um, the air raid offense. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, oh, Auburn's defense played pretty well last week. Oh, they played great. Don't, no kidding. Uh, besides uh, that one big play A&M had over top. Auburn also gave up a little bit. To, uh, and they missed the field goal, so it's still tied. Baylor man's probably not happy. Uh, Auburn's run defense did give up a, a, a little bit to uh, A&M. Uh, they didn't play that well, honestly, but they kept A&M out the end zone. Sec, uh, they had to stack the box a little bit, you know, all that. Uh, they didn't stack the box, but they just kind of committed to the run game. It didn't really work that well, but. Um, yeah, but. Uh, Auburn, but it doesn't matter. Mississippi State's not going to run the ball, first of all. But Auburn's pat, uh, run defense did give up a little bit too much last week. Their pass defense, so, well, their pass rush is great. Their pass defense is pretty good as well. Uh, so I'd say probably good run defense, good pass defense, great pass rush. That's Auburn bread and butter. Doesn't matter this week, though. They're not going to... Uh, Uh, they're Mississippi State's not gonna run the ball, so uh, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, throwing it on Auburn though, the pass rush didn't get there too much. I think uh, that's gonna cause him to turn over the ball. I think what Alabama did to them. Yeah, uh, their kicker was three field goals as well as we got something to keep in mind. Can Mississippi State finish in the close? Uh, I mean, he was 0 for 3 in field goals. Can Mississippi State finish when they get down there in the field? That's becoming a concern, um, Mississippi State. Auburn, uh, on offense, uh, they're, they're going to do pretty well. Mississippi State's weakness on is, is uh, getting the ball ran on them. That's going to happen against Auburn. Uh, they have a good pass rush, though, pretty good pass defense. So... Uh, that Auburn's offensive line, uh, it's going to create a couple of holes, I think. Tanks Bigsby, 
Uh, Auburn Dolphins did not do well last week. Is this a Bo Nix back, bounce back game? No. I think it's going to be a tank, more of a tank for Bigsby. Uh, great performance game. Auburn will win this game, I think. But um, I do think, I do think this is going to be a game to watch out for. 31-28, to 28, Auburn wins. Let's not forget, uh, before I call this Texas A&M Ole Miss game, Late, you picked against Georgia. You picked against Georgia. Clown? No, nah, Lane's not a clown. He's funny, but... He, he, I don't even know what's going through your head there, Lane. Come on. You also picked Baylor to beat Oklahoma. Like making all these crazy picks. And he picked... Oh, yeah, you also picked Ole Miss, right? Yeah. He picked... Did he pick Purdue as well? I think he picked Purdue. Oklahoma. Baylor's defense is falling out right now, especially the D-line for Baylor. Really do well. Oklahoma trying to run trick plays now. I don't even know if I have it on the TV screen. And when Oklahoma's running trick plays, you know they're in offensive trouble. So, so Oklahoma picked good. Did I pick a score for that game? I forgot to pick a score for the Oklahoma. It's too late now. Why don't I just throw one out there? I say four. I'm gonna say 45. 31. We'll go. I think I'm going to go 35 28, Oklahoma. But it's too late now. No one's going to believe that pick. Uh, Williams on the read option. Just, yeah. Uh, but, all right. Picking AM, uh, Ole Miss. AM, she's going to run the ball over Ole Miss. Their defense is not there physically. The pass rush for Ole Miss not going to get there. The pass defense is. Mediocre, well, not mediocre, but like it's better than a run defense pass rush, but it's just that stuff is just not there. You can run the ball, they're gonna run the ball all day on Ole Miss. Their pass rush is not gonna get the cows out, he's gonna have all day. AM's receiver is gonna get open. That, that's just what's gonna happen. Ole Miss offensively, are they gonna throw it on AM? Yes, I think they will. In fact, AM's pass defense is pretty much their weakness. Uh, there's their front seven is great. Running the ball on AM, that's not gonna work. AM, I think, will get to Matt Corral a lot this game. Which is gonna beat him up. And he I don't think he'll run as much because of that. That will limit Ole Miss offensively. Pass rush is just gonna cause too much trouble for Ole Miss. Hottie Toddy will not win this game. Uh I got Texas AM 30 uh 35 to uh 24. Uh, well, I put A&M, right? Yeah, A&M. Uh, it's just not there for Ole Miss. They just don't have it. They're, they're building a program. They're developing. They're not there yet. Their defense is not there. Yeah. Let's talk about this guy. First of all, yeah. Williams, the picture. that. I don't know how many people are. Uh, I just pick, we'll also give you some quick picks of Arkansas LSU. Uh, Arkansas will beat LSU. Michigan State will beat Maryland. Uh, what what other games? Are there? Not really sure. But uh, this game is getting good. Uh, oh yeah, re, uh, college game they talk about how a six way tie could possibly happen for the SEC West. They said Alabama need to lose the rest of their games. They said uh, Mississippi State and Arkansas need to win out. Ole Miss would need to beat Texas A&M and, uh, and lose another game. Uh, A&M would just have to lose this one and win out. Auburn needs to win out, I think, yeah. Yeah, 51 yarder for Oklahoma. You know, I'm kind of getting vibes that he's going to miss it. He missed it. Texas is the only team in the Big 12 that really has a guy who can kick field goals. The rest of them are terrible. Oh, yeah. To Cameron Decker, he's good. but he, I mean, he He's good. but I'm really good. <laughs> uh, the, uh, besides that, the SEC, when it comes to kickers, is obviously the best. Big 12 is not bad kickers, but Cameron Decker is the only guy. Uh, let's, let's, see, let's see the Michigan and how that's going. We'll see how Texas scores in between games, but... 
turning on the camera. There's, and I think my uh, TV is out of bed. Wow. Ain't that interesting. Seems like I'm going to the other one. Then. Trying to muster up this one. Any other games I can maybe pick that I'm not going to analyze. Oklahoma State will beat TCU. Notre Dame will beat Virginia. Uh, uh, I already picked that one. You know, Georgia beat Tennessee. That's, that's obvious. I already picked that. State ones. Uh, whoever Oregon's playing, Washington State, they'll win today. Of course. Miami will beat Florida State. Uh, I think that, that run game for Miami they do pretty good. Uh, I already picked that one. Boston College of Georgia Tech. Give me Boston College there. Uh, no. I think. What do I think? What, 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 what do I think is going to happen there? Mm. Georgia Tech in an upset. I can't believe I'm saying that. But I do think Georgia Tech is going to get them into an upset. Uh, Louisville beat Syracuse. What else do y'all want to hear? Uh, yeah, Washington. Or Oregon's going to beat Washington State. West. Oh no, Kansas State's beat West Virginia. Sorry, bro. That's just going to happen. God, college basketball game on Saturday. Come on, man. Uh, Washington, Arizona State. Got Arizona State there. Uh. Well, what other games can we maybe try to pick? Uh, SMU is going to beat US, uh, UCF. That's actually a really good game. Uh, that's on now, ESPNU. You have the channel, of course. Texas is going to beat Kansas. That's just going to happen. Uh, I don't even have to explain <laughs> what's going to happen there. Uh, and if I do, then you just don't watch football. Army's going to beat Bucknell. Marshall's going to beat Alabama, Birmingham. I may be picking these games. Air Force is going to beat Colorado State. You have the CBS Sports app. Uh, I think San Diego State will beat Nevada. Uh, Alabama's going to beat New Mexico State. That's just going to happen. I got South Carolina upsetting Missouri. Is that really an upset? I don't know, but I think I got to beat Missouri. So I already said the Arkansas LSU. Yeah, that's, that's pretty College football games. See maybe what a college football games. I'm trying to see maybe what else is on. Oh, you got Harvard and Fordham. I I'm not Harvard. Uh, you got. Where I'm holding cross. I don't know anything about those teams. I guess Holy Cross. I'm just. No, I'm not picking these FCS games. We're skipping that. Uh, no offense to the FCS or anything. I'm just not, I'm just not too interested. Uh, Colts Carolina would be Georgia State. Uh, Clay Helton, yeah, he's not there yet. That was coming next year. I'm gonna get out of these non-power five. Oh! You gotta have that. That's a touch. That was a really touchdown for Baylor. Iowa State would be Texas Tech. Uh, so many games I have to miss. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I'm going to miss all these games. Kentucky's going to beat Vanderbilt. Jackson State's going to beat Southern. Huh, Deion Sanders. All these games. Great games I have to miss today. UCLA will beat Colorado, uh, I think. San Jose State. Well, no, we'll go with, we'll go with uh, we'll pick Utah State to win this one. Let me go with uh, yeah, now we're now we're on to next week's games. Uh, that's all I gotta say though. If there's any games I missed, I'm sorry. But, uh, that's all I'm picking for now. Peace and go dogs. Now let me get in the bright. Peace and go dogs. 1980 baby, we're coming for Tennessee. Yeah. See the score of this Michigan Penn State game now. We got all that done. See the 1980. I've shown this every video because I'm motivated to see Georgia win a national championship, baby. 
and that's just